Hello there, Weber here, and today I'm going to be showing you a mod called the Small Boats mod. So this mod used to be called something different, it used to be called the Elegant Punt mod, and some of you actually might know it as the Sailboat mod, because it's quite a popular mod and a few people have done it. But it's recently had an update in which a new boat was added, so just in case you haven't seen the new boat, I thought I'd make this video. So the first boat I'm going to show you is called the Punt, and if you don't know what a Punt is, it's just basically a flat bottom boat. I don't know if it actually has to be specifically wooden, but I haven't really looked it up, so I'm sure you can do that yourself if you're that curious. So to craft one of these, you're going to need three boats, three wool and two sticks. One thing to mention is that when you use three boats, it will actually craft the punt, but this is not actually the official crafting recipe, I think it's just a bug. You actually need to add um, three wool and two sticks for the official crafting recipe, which you'd really be using if you don't want to cheat or anything like that. So anyway, if we go over here, you can actually see what it looks like. It's got a really awesome model. And the sail goes here, as you'd probably guess. It's also got a chest, so you can store items in it. So if we get in here and open the chest, you can see I've got some items stored in. So it's basically just like a portable chest, which you can use to transport your stuff across oceans and stuff. So anyway, it controls exactly the same way as a normal boat. And you'll see at slow speeds, the sail is only like a half up. But as I go faster, the sail goes fully. So the sail like, shows how fast you're going. And anyway, it's also like you would in real life. You, um, the sail would be blown by the wind more the faster you were going so it would be out more and stuff like that. So anyway, I'm just sailing around and you'll notice that I'm on one side of the boat and that's because I'm sliding right so I'm on the right side of the boat. And if I go left, um, you'll see I'm sitting on the left side of the boat. So it's very realistic like you would in real life. But anyway, it's the same speed as a normal boat would be. So you don't really get any speed advantages by using this over a normal boat. But it's just better to look at really. I mean if you had a dock full of these it'd be more impressive. But anyway, let's make our way back. Um, so anyway, here we go, back to shore. And to actually get one out, out of one of these boats, you need to shift and right click and you should come out. So if you do that, you can see I pop out the boat and just fly out. And now I've parked my boat up by the dock. And it appears to be floating slowly away from me. But I'm sure we can collect that later. Anyway, I'm going to show you the next um, boat in this mod now, which happens to be called the Whitehall. So for the next boat in this mod, I thought I'd get a much better looking map so you can have some nice scenery to look at as we sail around the island. So anyway, the next boat is called the Whitehall and it's crafted using three punts in a row at the bottom of your crafting grid. Well, it doesn't have to be at the bottom, as long as they're in the row. So it's pretty much the same as to craft a punt with three boats in a row, although that's not really the legitimate way of crafting it. So let's just place this Whitehall down at the bottom of our dock. There we go. And jumping right click and now we're in it. Um, one cool thing to mention, which is the most important feature of this, is that this actually works in multiplayer. So you can have two people sitting in this at the same time, and suppose when you um, go around a corner, you both swap sides in really synchronised manner, which should look really awesome. You can also change seats manually by just right clicking to the other seat like that, and like that, which is really awesome. Let's just, although it does seem to glitch out when I do that, and um, it stops me being able to move. I don't know if that's intentional, I don't think it would be, but that's a little bug, but it's only a little bug and it is quite a complex mod. So you'll also notice that I've got two chests here, and to access these I'm going to have to change seats so I can actually reach them, and you've got the port and the starboard chests, and you can access them and store double the amount of items as the other one, but again I'm going to have to get out, otherwise I'm not going to be able to control the boat, but there we are. So it's a bit glitchy, but it's awesome anyway. You can also see it's got a much better model than the other one, and it looks really nice. And you've got the red bottom and the white sides. Uh, so yeah, it's a really nice texture. I'm going to head over there to the waterfall because I noticed a weird glitch last time I was testing this mod out. Where you can actually like fly in midair, which is interesting. I think it's because the size of the hitbox for this, well hitbox, I've been playing too much TF2. But anyway, the size of the model for this is um, larger than you can actually see. so. A waterfall will affect it even if it doesn't appear to be inside the waterfall. So here we are going up, and I better go out a bit now, otherwise I'm going to crash into the cliff. But anyway, if we go into third person here and keep edging out, you can see I'm now not even in the waterfall, but I am floating in midair. Uh, yep, I, I'm floating in midair, which is very interesting and cool, but. Uh, <laughs> There's not really anything else I can say about this, I am literally floating and now I'm falling. Wee. There we are. Um, one thing I should say before I end this video is that these boats are very resilient, so you can crash into 
lots of stuff and they shouldn't break. I was expecting the boat to break then just to prove my point wrong but as you can see I'm not breaking the boat and with a normal Minecraft boat I'd probably have broke it then. So yeah, overall a really awesome mod, just a few little bugs here and there but I'm sure you can understand how complex this mod is and bugs are kind of unavoidable. I mean Minecraft still has bugs like that damn shadow glitch and it's been out for years so yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching and see you next video. Definitely check this mod out.